How's it going so far? Pretty good. There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Oh my gosh. Next, please take a look at this. <gasps> Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Yes, you are. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Aww. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we okay. should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you are waiting, <sighs> literally however, nothing this better to do, so it's fine. <laughs> coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take it's a look. Fine. Skyward Sword? Yep. Cool. I know a lot of people have been waiting for that for a while. Be good to play it again too on the Switch. Sweet! It's always good when there's a new Zelda anything, even if it's uh, a port. I don't care. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. It's been a while since that one came out too. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console. Oh my god, 10 years like that. The Legend Holy. of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword. And One thing with that was not fun to do at 2 o'clock in the morning when you were so Nintendo tired and you didn't feel like going... The controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. <laughs> and we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Okay, that's cool. The Joy-Con cool. controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. Oh the yeah, they made him right-handed. Left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, Sports thank system. you. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to they apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. <gasps> I'm definitely doing that. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Oh, cool. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Special oh! designed Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian Shield motif. The Legend of Zelda oh, okay. Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of oh, Zelda timeline, so cool. details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. I really hope those aren't hard to get, oh my god. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Since Legend Breath of, of Zelda Wild? Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ram, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. It, it is really good. It's a lot of fun. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? 
The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Ooh, post-apocalyptic. Inkling? Splatoon 3? Oh. <laughs> Little buddy. So cool. That was the one really cool thing too about, I mean, there's so much cool about Splatoon, but the music. Have any of you heard the remix someone did on YouTube? I don't know where. Um, someone did a remix of Space Jam, the Space Jam theme with the Splatoon theme. And it's so, so well done. Oh. The theme. Splatoon 3, yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Oh, 20, yeah, it's expected, that's fine. Cool! What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We that's hope you'll stay okay. tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching.